Hello and welcome today. We're going to take a look at the new expansion to Tales of Majael called Forbidden Cults. This is a, uh, a Lovecraftian sort of a, uh, a thing for Tome that comes out here in just a couple days. I'll have a link below. So if you're not familiar with uh, with Tome, it is a... Um, really, it's a, it's a good uh, introductory lo roguelike. I suppose if, if you have never uh, dipped your toes in the uh, the pool of roguelikes, this is a nice one to start off with. It's, uh, it is a true roguelike. You're running around turn-based, you know, RPG-style killing things. Um, but it's, uh, it's not too terribly difficult to get into. And uh, we have a new expansion that has just come out. We've, we've covered a couple of new expansions in the past, over the past couple of years. But uh, anyway, this one uh, has a sort of Lovecraftian theme uh, theme with, you know, tentacles and, and insanity and, and uh, all kinds of ridiculously crazy things that's going to be happening here. Let's jump in here and, uh, and try it out. So we don't have a new campaign for this, but we do have, of course, new... Um, like new zones and all that sort of stuff. We also have two new classes. We have a writhing one, which we'll be doing here, and we have the cultist of entropy, which I'm not sure what that one does. Uh, we also have two new races. We have the drem, which are the corrupt dwarves, and the krog, or transformed ogres. But we cannot, uh, we haven't unlocked those yet. So my name's going to be Nook. Uh, I guess this is sort of um, Lovecraft. Let's put a. There we go. Put some apostrophes in there for uh, Lovecraft stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do difficulty normal is fine. Adventure mode is, is good for, for death. Uh, our new race here, our new class, is the Writhing One. So, no, so we call them horrors. Uh, we're seeking for this ancient knowledge. The whole story here... Well, we'll get to the story in a second. Basically, we are some freaky-looking person that has a tentacle for an arm. You know, that usual stuff. Uh, as for our race... Um, Magic and strength are very important for these guys. So we're going to pick a higher human because they have the bonus to both of those. I wanted to dwarf, but they've got minus two magic, so that's not really going to help us any here. Even though they do have 12 life per level, what do you get? 11. Yeah, we'll stick with a higher human. Okay, let's uh, let's play. So we'll get an idea what all is, is happening here. So, uh, oh, oh, first we have to pick our, uh, our starting stat. So we start with some uh, attribute points we can put in. We want strength and magic right. Uh, class points for our, uh, our afflicted ones. Uh, a writhing one, sorry. And then the generic points for human. So for stats, we want strength and magic, right? Magic is very important. And one strength, sure. Uh, for class points, we have some things we can pick from. We have shed skin. This is you shed the outer layer of your mutated skin and empower it to act as a damage shield for seven turns. We also have carrion feet. Your feet start to continuously produce carrion worms, constantly crushed as you walk, allowing us to walk faster. Friendly worms. We have this decayed devourers that we could choose. We use a euro bond with whores to summon three decaying devourers for four turns. We're not most. We're not really a friendly person. We, you know. Uh, we also have a diseased tongue. Your tongue turns into a diseased tentacle that you use to lick your enemies in a cone. Yeah, that's the kind of guy we are. And we're going to pick that one for sure. We also want the Shed Skin ability because this is really difficult. I've uh, played through a couple times. I have died many times here. Um, so as for our uh, human points, we want to make sure we pick. We can do Chaos Orbs, which helps us do more damage. And we have Gift of the Highborn, which gives us healing. And I think we want to go with the healing because, uh, as I mentioned, I will die a lot. I don't want to die a lot. So, uh, Forbidden Colts, welcome to Tales of Majayal. So, we are uh, one of several like-minded individuals that delves into knowledge long lost and forgotten. Basically, we are here in this uh, this long-forgotten sanctuary, the Fortress of Kroshkur here, um, with a lot of other folks that are like us, that like, that like tentacle arms and tongues. Um, but we have a problem. There is a, uh, a worm tunneling directly towards Kroshkur. Nothing is done, it will collide and destroy what remains of the ancient fortress. So, our duty is to go and kill that worm. We go inside the worm, and we destroy its brain. You know, how you kill worms. Uh, we could also just run away and say, screw you guys. Sucks to be you, but no, we're actually going to be a hero today, and we're going to go and kill this worm. So here I am. I am, uh, I am a human. Well, a human with a, uh, get out of here, with a tentacle arm, as you can see. It's very exciting. I also have a iron longsword, I have an iron mail armor, and I have a brass lantern. That's basically all I have. So let's push this boulder out of the way, and let's go down here to, we can see my quest here. Uh, is that not quest? Uh, G? Journal, that is. A worm that devours. Huge, mindless, corrupted worm is heading towards Kroshker. Must be stopped. Let's go and do it. So into the maggot we are going. We're actually going into the maggot to try to kill this thing. 
Um, you can see, look, there's a spinal cord right there. Oh, there, there's a, a mastocystic feeder. It's a vermin, a blob. We're going to kill it. You can see, watch it as I swing. My arm flails about, killing things. Look, there it goes. Yes, there it goes again. No one messes with my tentacle arm. It's kind of freaky. So, in this game, if you're not familiar with this, we can do Z and we can, like, auto explore. Uh, anytime we come across something scary, we can always turn our sh we can shed our skin. Uh, our characters here, we have health and we have uh, insanity. That is our mana for this uh, this class. Um, if we want to do some sort of uh, disease tongue, he's spawning friends here. We can like do this and smack both of them around. There we go. All right, and give them both disease also. Something is is spewing some acid at us. And uh, where is he? There he is. What are you? You are an acidic digester. Okay. I'm going to put my skin on. Smack you around a little bit. Oh, you're dropping bows, are you? Smack like that. Ooh, battle axe. All right. All right. And what's this? Robes of corrosion. All right. Um, we'll pick this up. Put this stuff on in just a second. Where are you at? There you are. Smack this guy around. Turn on my uh, my shield and continue smacking. There we go. Uh, what do we have here? We have a mana burning iron battle axe. I can wear this thing. That's better than my sword. Sure. Oh. No, no, no. Sorry. It is inner. It's it's disrupting my my force. Never mind. Never mind. Disrupting my uh, my abilities. We don't want to wear that. Um. This is gonna be any, any good. Zero defense. I think I, I think I need the better defense. It gives me resistance to, to acid, which is kind of nice. But I feel like the armor is probably more important, even though there's a lot of acid around here. Uh, what are you? A uh, yeah, you're that feeder guy. I'm smack you with my tentacle arm. Oh, what is all this? Let's do the whole skin thing. Let's go ahead and make sure we are. How are we feeling? All right. Oh, I forgot to turn on my chaos orbs. Turn these things on. So these things are. Um, uh, I'm harnessing the chaos created by my high insanity. Each time I trigger an insanity effect, I get a chance to do more damage. Smack. Uh, let's do this thing. And hit all three of you. There you go. Get out of here. Oh, I'm hurting a lot. Skin and heal. Smack that guy. There we go. Okay. Uh, we picked up something good here, right? We got a um, cleansing iron. I don't have enough strength strength for this or skills, so we will not take it. All right. Well, who else is here? There you are. Um, you hurt me a lot already. Let me do some of that. I'm gonna hit the uh, the old heal. Uh, this hurts a lot. Heal again. Uh, skin again. And let's do the old, uh, the old tongue. Never thought I'd play a game where that was my combat, but whatever. Oh, I found some lore. All right. Anybody else in here? Supercharged iron torque of thermal. What? It's like a hat, right? For psionics. I'm not a psionic, though. What is Ooh, a wizard's hat. That's not any better. Oh, I don't have a hat, so I'll wear that. Oh, we'll wear a clarifying linen wizard hat of uh, nature. Sure. Sure. All right. So somewhere down here, there is a, uh, well, there's a spinal cord end. But we're going to have to get to and uh, destroy. What is that thing? That is a protoplasmic controller. There we go. We got him. And, oh, look, more lore. All right. Uh, let's go with this. Some of that. There we go. Smack him around. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Lots of poison going on here. I need some poison resistance. Acid resistance is kind of nice. There is some acid around here also. But I think poison is probably more important. Let's go ahead and uh, hit. Can I hit all three of you? Yeah, we can. Diseased all of you. Uh, give me some heals. Take that, buddy. Okay. And myself and my uh, my tentacle arm is going to go explore the rest of the way here. Ah, oh, there you are. And see if we can find this uh, this end here. Uh, that kind of hurts. Oh, level up. There we go. 
Okay, so we've leveled up. We can get more stats. We want, we really want 24 magic because we want to have a mutated hand. Your left hand mutates into a disgusting mass of tentacles. And we can, like, smack people around with it. We already have a point in this. We want more points in this because our hand is amazing. Um, but we can't get there yet until we get more magic. So let's put points into magic. We need 24. We have 18. Um... I'm going to put all on there, though. I want a point in health and a point in strength, because I don't want to die. Um, but I will put more points into my shed skin, though, because that's a very important one. As, as, a, as intriguing as rising some uh, some decaying devourers up, I'm going to go with the defense. And what was this one? Heightened senses. You notice small things others do not notice, allowing you to see creatures in a five radius, even outside of light radius. So I can see things more. I'm going to go with this chaos orbs, however, because this, will I think, will add up pretty well. Okay. Let's see if we can live a little longer. What are you doing? Get out of here. I need to find some, some gear here. Smack that guy around. Oh, look, ooh, look at you. You are a proto-sentient globule. Yeah, you are. Thank you. I picked up a, a lantern of health. Eh? What does that do for me? Maximum life plus 41. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I want that. Excellent. All right, buddy. Come here. Keep pressing. All right. I think we're nearly... Oh, more lore. I think we're nearly there. Nah, not quite. Not quite. Let me wrestle... Oh, I can't rest us. Things... Spewing things at me. There you are. I see you. Um, I want to... I probably shouldn't do this yet, but I'm going to go ahead and smack you with my diseased tongue. Oh, there we go. We got you. Rest a little bit and say hello to another one of you guys. And my arm is flailing about. Ooh, what you got there, buddy? What kind of axe was that? That was a acidic iron war axe of daylight. I will take that. I'm sure it's better than what I have. I have iron boots. Why did I not see those? I missed those. And uh, yeah, all right, all right. Okay, excellent. Let's wait a minute. Come here. I don't want. I think it might be two of them there. You're not looking too healthy, buddy. Let's do the uh, skin, of course, and smack them all around. Um, what do you have here? Quiver. I don't want a quiver. I do want to get my skin back on, though, or off, or whatever I'm doing to it. Get the heal going. Okay. Feeling better. I'm blind. I can't see anything. Uh, get your skin on. Off. What, what are you doing? Are you taking your skin off, right? Shedding your skin. Yeah, you shed the outer layer of your mutated skin and power to act as a damage shield for seven turns. Sure you do. Um, give me some regen. Let's go smack this guy. Stop spawning things, please. I don't appreciate that. Fuck whispers, eh? Meow. Stop doing that. Ah, it hurts. Regen. Okay. Who's doing this to me? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, oh, oh! I'm at this. I'm at the end. This is the spinal cord. Level seven. That's a lot of hit points. I don't have that many hit points. I have eighty-five. Ooh. Um. Okay. So we gotta turn our skin on, and we're gonna do this thing to disease it, I guess. Um. And then we're gonna make sure we. Regen. Can I do this without dying? Disease tongue available. Yeah, do it again. Um, did I never turn this thing on? Chaos orbs. Turn the thing on. Um, more of that. Did I, never, did I never have that on, or did it get turned off? I, I don't know. Um, uh, let's um, smack him again. He hurts a lot. I am not doing much to him. Low health. Shed some skin. Low health. Uh, don't I have something... Oh, look at me. Ooh, look at me! Oh, yeah. Do I want to be... Do I not want to be here? I'm on his nerval spine. I guess it's okay. Let's regen. 
And let's let's do the whole tongue thing again. Okay. Tongue's available again. Keep on tonguing them, I guess. Um, not something I would normally shout while playing a game, but yeah, you know, sometimes, sometimes you gotta tongue things. Okay, let's get the healing going. I, we might be able to do that. I should save my pain suppression for my shield when my shield wears off. Skin is off. Put more skin on. Whatever you're doing to it. Disease him. Yeah, we got him. The worm that devours. Excellent. I knew that before. Last time I played, when I did my test game, I died to this guy. Uh, huge. Yeah, we got him. We destroyed the worm's neural spine, preventing the doom of the sanctuary. We are a hero. Explore the caves below the ruins of Core Pool and the Trollmire in search for treasure and glory. All right. Excellent. I will do that. I will. Would you give me? Unable to, yeah, I'm stuck. Uh, oh, Alor and Imp Claw. That remains of a flame imp's hand. It still burns at that a natural flame. And a rod of recall. Gorgeous and ornate trident was wielded by Lady Najva. When you hold it, you can faintly hear the roar of a rushing river. Okay, okay. What else do we have over here? Oh, nothing. All right. Well, there we go. Look at that. Um, I thought for sure we were going to die. Spiked male armor. I will wear that. Um, I will... Yeah. Use my uh, my rod of recall, I guess. Let's get out of here. Eventually. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. Alright, welcome to the uh, the main world. So, yeah, um, if you're not familiar with Tome, we have this sort of overland map. We can, we can walk into other dungeons around this place. We have a gate into the maze. We have to find wherever this... Uh, this the ruins of Corpol, wherever they are, we have to find those and, and go do that quest. But we can do really whatever we want. It's an open world sort of a thing. And we can go wander around and become a hero and do whatever. There's some Allied Kingdoms halfling patrol. Um, if we're going to go kill the guys, I guess we maybe could. Um, there's a town of dearth here. There's a ruins. Oh, there we go. That's where we need to go. Sure, we'll go here. Welcome to the ruins of Corpol. All right. We'll see what we can do. Where are we at? We're only at 17 minutes. We'll see if we can kill some things. We got an angry ma uh, angry rabbit there. All right, rabbit. Have you? S you don't know what you're coming up with. I have a tentacle for a hand. Oh yeah, we can slaughter these things because. Oh yeah, we leveled up again. Um, okay. Do it right now. All right, what is this? Combat accuracy, which is a passive thing. I like passive things. Unarmed melee and ranged weapons by 100. Um, yeah, by by 10. Sorry, by 10. Sure. Um, and we can get, what do we need for this? More. 17, I need to get 24. Oh, I can do n 9. Did I get level? Oh, I did level up before that last guy too, didn't I? What is this? Lash out. Spin around, extending your weapon and damaging all targets around you for 176 weapon damage. While your tentacle hand extends and hits all targets around you. Mmm, I gotta go with that one. Pustulant growth. Each time you shed your skin, loses 39% of its max power, and you take damage over 15% of your maximum life. A black, putrescent postule grows on your body for five turns. Increases my resistances. Mutations of adventure of offense even further. Dissolved face. You approach your face to your target and let some of it melt in a gush of blood and gore, dealing... Oh, that's, um, uh, Okay. That's disturbing, but I'm going to do it. And I want uh, some pustulant growth as well. Um, I will take some uh, horrific evolution as well, and I'm going to go with a lash out. And uh, I want some strength, I want some health. And more strength. And more strength. And more health. And we're going to put a point into... Uh, no, we're just going to do some of this one. Okay. Yeah. Well, now we're cool. I want to... What are my abilities here? This one? Lash out. Yes. I would like to lash out. One second. Let me get a whole bunch of things around and we can lash out at it. Get out of here. Give me that gem. Thank you. So we can go down below here. That's where we're supposed to be going. So let's do it. Next level, sure. Uh, did I get a miner's helmet? Oh, yeah, we're back. 
Sure. Well, there's a linen cloak over there. And there's some things that uh, want to be lashed out against. So what, how far does this reach? Oh, that was exciting. Oh, I need to do this some more. Give me some beasties. I want to see it. That was amazing. Um, here we go, here we go. Okay, right here. Oh, yeah! Uh, okay, now do your felt mace, your face melting thing. Um, yeah. Ooh. Okay. That was disturbing. More things? Oh, flash out! Yeah! Oh, ooh, there's an ant right there. Uh, hello, ant. What do you have to say? Nothing. Because you did. Uh, found another letter to Rolf. Sorry, Rolf. I don't care. Gonna go, uh, is that a door? Oh, nothing's over there. Ooh, lots of things! Guess what? Oh my, keep killing them. Um, let's go with a, uh, a lashing out. Yeah, that's... This, I think this, pretty sure this is an entry-level dungeon, but we are, like, destroying things here. My problem with this game is I will, uh, get way too overconfident. I'll come in dungeons like this, and then I'll go to the next dungeon, and I'll get completely destroyed. Because I'll think I'm all that, but I'm really not. Where's that way down? Oh, there we go. Wasn't there a way down over here? Somewhere? Oh, there it is. I found a ring. Oh, yeah, where's that thing? Sure. Okay. Oh. We're gonna wait and we're gonna let him come up all up on me, and then we're gonna do that. Yeah! Okay. Ooh. I think it's about time to call it a day here. But, uh, yeah. I'm always up for playing some more Tome. Those expansions come out. What is it like? It seems like once a year we get a new expansion for this. I think it's, uh, $6.99, I think, was the price. And it's supposed to be on sale for the. Um. When it comes out, it's going to be on sale. Uh, I'm not looking too good here. I'm blinded over here. But, uh, anyways, I'll have a link below. So, thanks again for watching. Gotta wait, bears. And uh, I will see you next time.